that car swerving all over the place. Wait a minute. Drop! No! You ain't making us! One ton of runaway meadow brought to a halt. We'd love to see it. Nice.
ready to come by the Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. All right. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from NJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry and this found... Foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, okay. Nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest-looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. That car does not care for traffic laws. I think you ran a few reds, guys. Big mistake, fighter! Leave it to the authorities to clean this up. Chief Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. Crystal time. I find them, and they're waiting for me, with all sorts of weapons. What the hell have I walked into? Weapons? Whoever they are, they definitely read up on Marco. There's the robbery. Gotta stop him. Hey! Need a dance partner? I've been waiting! Thanks for the assist. Just trying to keep up with you.
I was wondering what this place was. You made it! I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less... this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker! <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. And now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. <laughs> so the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this Place. Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... Got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. Wow. Dad's money may have gotten the ball rolling, but my job is to put it to work. Making the world a better place. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Here, follow me. Yes, Jean. I just checked in on Dan and Annie. They're both doing great, really acclimating to daycare. Well, David's off in his own little world, but Annie is getting the other kids. Pep data is not entomology. The AI learning we did during the last milestone. I know the number. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. The carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you 
you see those little holographic B-Wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the B-Wolves away, not hurt them. Peter, a very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow, I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work. Using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. here. Where do I even start? The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. Right behind you! When I ran the last batch, it looked like we were on track. Did you do the XRF analysis? Imagine coming to work here every day. I mean, it's almost too good to be true. Analysis, better data. Let's start paying off the mortgage. Uh, but what if Spidey work gets in the way? Gotta think this through before signing on. Hey, 
What are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road-ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. To space research. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh yeah, that would take a while. I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. Must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. Cool fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Want to feed them? Yeah. Japanese koi fish have well-studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco-friendly roofing materials. So cool. May would have loved this place. This is a reminder that next week is our possible There's so much to explore. But I shouldn't keep Harry waiting. Beehives show complex group decision making and group locomotion. Swarming is an animal process. Drones? Yeah, uh, doing a little cross collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultra light drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. Really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back even before high school to middle school. Okay. Please. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey. When you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that was so great. Interesting research project, and lowers the old cortisol levels too. Right? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. Hello? 
Yes, we need someone to come back and check the humidity sensors. Welcome to agricultural research. Again, yes. The ranges are too broad and our watering system... This way, dude! Dusty Washington was part of that. Accelerators are sensitive to you. the degree of Thank you for understanding. The yes. algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm -hmm. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great, now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Interesting. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen. I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. More security. Go ahead. Swipe. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it.
Can you join me? God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> One quick thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? But Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got an... Good job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... It's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. I'm so Shouldn't you guys be in an hourglass or something? <laughs> Gotta get that sand crystal! <laughs> Now. This 
circling me, Mia. Oh, wishing I'd just stayed home with you and came here. Helped you with your homework. Made you the one meal that I know how to cook. But it's too late now. Kimia is Marco's daughter. How did I not know he was a dad? Just check back in on Marco. He's steadily improving. Making more and more sense. He's even eating again. Doctors are hopeful. Good work. And we're back. So, like I was saying, trust me. Your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. Spider-Man, over here! Hey, Chief. Thanks for coming. We've managed to set our explosives in every zone except the last one. The demo crew's in there. There's four of them. I'll find them. Just keep your radios open. And make sure nobody touches that detonator. No. Spiderbot can search faster in there than I can. Your time to shine, little guy. Make Spidey Daddy proud. All right. I find the people, Clark gets them out. Is anyone out there? Help! Is that a robot? Hey, it's Spider-Man. I just relayed your location to fire and rescue, so they'll be here any minute. Gonna be okay. Spider-Man, thank you. Hey, Clark, did you get the location I just sent over? Our team's moving in now. Thanks. Spider-Man's here. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, whoa. Thank you. Help's coming. Fire and Rescue knows where you are, and they'll be here soon. You're going to be okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Clark, you should be getting a new location any time now. Just came in. We'll head right over once we finish getting Mr. Robleski out. What are those breathing exercises again?
there! My leg! I think it's broken! What's that? No! Fire and rescue's on the way. Just try not to move. They'll have you out of here soon. Okay. Thank you, Spider-Man. Looks like I need to go up. So it's field testing time for my latest upgrade. My insurance better cut this or I swear. Hey, Clark. Did you get the last location I sent your way? Heading there now. There's only one other worker left inside. Hurry, Spider-Man. Leave it to me. I can see light. Jacket. Make sure you help them. Hey, Clark. I just sent a new location your way. But this guy said someone else is still trapped in here. Really? I'm not missing anyone else. But if you can find them, we'll get them out. I'm on it. Nobody here. Some maneuvering. that's been skulking around. They can't stop all of us. Now keep looking for supplies. We'll need them in the days ahead. Uh... The flame is disappointed in you. to the police. Never, never even mentioned the flame. I just, I just wanted out. Then you should have remembered we all go out the same way we come in. Painfully. Get out of here! The Phil's beacon! 
Prophecy said you'd face us eventually. Prophecy? Oh, man, I've always wanted to be in one of those. Not crazy about the nickname, though. What's up? What's my prophecy? Endless fighting? Death by building? Grow four arms and become a giant man spider? That's it? Oh, okay. Whoa, guys, can we take this outside? Is everyone okay? Besides me knocking you out, obviously? We are better than you ever will be. The world will be cleansed and you're filled. Who are you people? The only ones worthy enough to survive what's coming! Finish him off before the police get here! Pretty sure this building is gonna fall apart before then! Thanks. So what's your deal? There you are. Hey! You never did like my smoking. Yuri? Well, life's call me Wraith. Fits pretty well, I think. I tried... Where have you been? What about them? They made their choice. This will be a new record. And they said it couldn't be done. Looks like Yuri took off. I thought she'd just need some time after what happened with Hammerhead. But coming back with that suit and a name like Wraith? I should keep an eye on her, and the other on these cultists. I need more eyes.
Hey, what's up? Just wanted to let you know that I talked to Gloria, and Feast is gonna send a donation truck to the house tomorrow for the rest of May stuff. Uh, I don't think oh, I'll be able to go through everything by then. Come speeding through Can you cancel that? I promise I'll donate it all myself as soon as I'm finished with uh, everything. I'll call him right now. Soon. But get your butts in those seats. Don't push yourself don't too hard, Parker. I'm serious. Hey, you know I'd much. Is that a good photo, Spider-Man? Hey, send it to the student newspaper. Spider-Man aren't the only superheroes in New York. Getting students to class on time? One of the greatest powers I've ever seen. <laughs> 